All right, today we're going to look at how you can create a website within your Google Apps. So here we are inside your Google App. And you'll see along the top bar here that you have all of your choices. I'm going to go to Sites. All right, and you'll see I have all of my sites here um, in, that are in my domain. But I want to create a new site today. And I'm going to create a new site using a template. So I'm going to come over here to the left side and choose Create. From here, I'm going to browse my gallery for more. And you'll see here it says My Organization, and it'll have my choices. Now let's see. I think it is this choice that I would like, a very basic web page for teachers to set up for their students. So I choose that and then I would come down below here to select and then I would name my site. I'm going to name it delete so that I can remember to delete it later. When I'm done with that I choose create here at the top. And the advantage of using a template is that many of the features are already set up for you. So here you see the simple template that I have chosen. It has my site name, which I named delete so I can remember to delete it when I'm done. It has the school logo here, and then it has a space for me to write some inf basic information. It also has some, a place here for some links, and I can set up some additional links as well. So what I would do to customize this page is to come here to my little pencil and choose Edit Page. So my editor will come up, and then I can just start typing about me. I am a teacher. And then I would choose my contact information. In this case, I'll choose the school number. So let's see, I would say, what's that famous one? Um, one, two, three, uh, five, 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 five. And then if I wanted to come over here, I could also do my text and then I'll go to my gear. And that will show me everything that's in here and I can format this as well. So I'll just choose save. When I'm done with everything and I'm pleased with how I think it looks, I choose save. And there you have it. My site has been created. I can edit it anytime I need to, going back to that site's choice. And when I'm ready to have my site live, that means have everybody in the world see it, I go to my blue share button. And then as you see right here, it says who has access. Currently, it's just people within my school district that can find it. If I want to change that so that my students or my parents can see it, I choose change. From there, I can choose anyone with the link that way I can give my parents the link, or I can choose public on the web. I like to choose public on the web. When I'm done with that, I choose save. And now my site is ready for everyone to see.